All right, today I just wanted to cover uh, very quickly how to take a composition you've created in GarageBand and pull it into iMovie. So let me uh, go ahead and pull up GarageBand here real quick. I already have a song that I've kind of written. Hang on one second. Let me just get through these warnings. It's called uh, Initial Title. So when I play it, uh, you can barely hear it in the background, but that's okay. You'll get, get, the, get the gist of things. So here's the song that I've created within GarageBand. Okay, you don't have to hear the whole composition. Bottom line is it's called Initial Title. And I've got other songs in here. You'll notice I've got different icons. One's an iCloud icon, the other's a download, the other's an upload, so on and so forth. Doesn't matter in terms of what I'm doing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push select. All of my songs will shimmer. I'm gonna select the one I want to push over to iMovie and I wanna export it. So what I'm gonna do is, I am gonna slide over to where it says open in, which is down in the bottom. And when you pull up open in, you've gotta fill in all of this information. If you don't, I don't think it will export appropriately. So I've got my name in here. I've got, don't worry about composer name, I've got artist name and then album name. Just for the sake of trying to find it later, uh, we'll call this titles. That'll be the name of the album. Very apropos. I'll go high quality, that's fine. Don't have to worry about that. And I go ahead and I click share in the top right corner. So it's exporting the song in a, in a usable format for iMovie. It's gonna take a few seconds here. And then it gives you options to push the export. And this is actually pretty cool because it's not it's more than just iMovie. It's there's all kinds of other uh, other um, apps that you can push this out to, but I am gonna choose iMovie. So I wanna open it up in iMovie. It's gonna push me over to iMovie here on my iPad. And I've got two movies there. For this particular example, I don't want it in either of these movies just yet. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tell iMovie to create a new movie with my, my music. And so it creates a brand new movie and it throws the audio file down in the bottom right there where it says initial title. So if I start playing it, so my song actually plays within iMovie. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is uh, if I move over to audio over here, I've got a brand new folder called imported. So if I push on imported, you will see initial title right there. Now the question you might ask is, well, that's great that it's in this movie. Can I have access to that song in other movies? I'm just going to delete the my movie. So I go back. Let's say I want to put that song into the crime scene of NYC News here. So I'm going to open up that movie file which is an iMovie creation. And let's say I wanna to go to the very beginning of the file and I wanna add that song. If I now go to audio, I still have my imported folder right there. I can push on imported and there's initial title. And I'm gonna put that into my movie. And you'll notice there's initial title right there. And he actually, I already did this one, so I'm gonna delete that one. So as I play the movie, you know, got competing sounds there. So let me, let me delete that one too. So I'll go back and this will be my initial title sequence and the music plays behind the video file. You'll notice that it's a little bit longer than the movie so I can actually edit this and shrink this up just so that I can get the very beginning if I want to. Now let me play that back and it works just like any other audio file. And there you, and there you go. All of your other audio tracks are involved with your videos as well too, so you're good to go.